The Florida Gators and Florida State Seminoles baseball teams met once again at Bragan Field in front of a packed house in Jacksonville. The annual contest hosted by the city of Jacksonville saw two great college fan bases united as over 10,000 fans created a college-like atmosphere. The grandstand was packed tonight with both garnet and gold and orange and blue. And here at Bragan Field, the perfect game team store had fans prepared with Seminole and Gator caps that combined the best of both the Gators and Seminoles and the Jacksonville Suns. Suns director of merchandise Trevor Johnson said there were more Seminole snapbacks sold on Tuesday. But exciting things are on the way in the team store no matter who you cheer for. We are getting some new styles in for this season. Um, we should have them hopefully by the first homestand. Fans got an added treat by seeing 2013 Heisman Trophy winner and national champion quarterback Jameis Winston, who also pitches for the FSU baseball team and signed autographs before the game. Winston didn't pitch in the contest, although he's having a great year on the mound for Florida State. For the second straight week, the Gators beat the nationally ranked number one Seminoles 4-1. Things got a bit interesting in the seventh inning when there was a benches clearing brawl between the teams following a hard collision at first base. Tapped up the first base line. It'll be a mistake by Young. Young tried to play it. Powers was right there and he ran into him and now it's getting a little chippy and it could get a lot chippy. The Seminoles got a run in the ninth and had the tying run at the plate, but ultimately the Gators held on for the three run victory. With the Gators and Seminoles contest in the books, now Bragan Field prepares for the start of Suns baseball with opening night on April 3rd against Huntsville. For the Suns Baseball Network, I'm Roger Hoover.